Wow, I said I would get up on the second segment, and I did. <laughs> oh, we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> I love what I'm hearing today. I, uh, I just wanted to share that. I had heard one of your, uh, you're speaking about momentum, and just like going with a feeling to get past it. I had been on a retreat, and I had this resentment. Oh. Wait just for a second because we want to clean that up just uh -oh. ever so and understand what you mean by it The only thing that slows momentum is an opposing vibration In other words, our friend earlier was talking about leaving something or going somewhere And we said, aren't they the same thing? So if you're moving toward what you want, but you're doubting it Then you've put resistance into it But let's say you're down on yourself, but you're in a moment of loving. Now you've put the love resistance in the doubt. What resistance is, is just opposing vibration to the direction of the vibration. Does that make sense to you? Mm. So. So I, I had a thing, a process where I was beating this pillow to kill off. I had this, I felt shame that I had a resentment against someone. Cause I'm like, I'm spiritual. I should be over it by now. But I, in the process was like, just get the anger out so I can get past this like, resistance and when I and now you've got that dead pillow on your consciousness <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel I it's been four weeks now and I feel so it's the first time I felt complete like the noise in my head is gone like it's I haven't felt this enoughness and I was you know I've been doing all this transformational work and I'm like oh my god I'm here and I've been trying so hard and it's just Most people do. silent. You think you have to try hard. You think you have to try hard in order to get stuff done. And we accept this part of the premise of that thinking. Big leverage gets more done. Get a big old crane to lift whatever it is you're lifting instead of using your own hands. Get a fulcrum. You can lift something much easier than just by picking it up with your own back In other words, there's no question that there are physical things that you can do That can enhance the power of what you're doing But you have no idea yet The fulcrum that you're finding as you tap into source energy The ultimate releasing of resistance taps you into such true power And that's what you're feeling Yeah That's what yeah. you're describing I, uh, I'm creating this comedy festival I'm like... <laughs> God, we really could use like a celebrity for this. And then I get an email the next day from a club. It's like, hey, we have this celebrity that has a podcast. Can you have, and then just, all these things are coming in and someone's gonna sponsor them. So I've just, and I'm catching up with all the work for that, but I'm noticing how uh, I have, so there's a thing I'm receiving. You can tell how well you've dreamed it by how easy it falls into it just place. just like, boom, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I just say yes, and I need to do the busy work to complete that, which I'm doing. I have, enrolled in this pilot TV pilot class and I, this project is like you're saying like I'm not making it it's coming we want to give you something that Jerry learned through his life experience many years ago and it was so impressive to him that he wrote a paper called Esther remembers typing it and printing it on yellow paper she thinks she can find it somewhere it's buried in the archives somewhere it's somewhere she wants to find it and he entitled the paper keep your ideas to yourself until they are fully developed the title we would give it now is once you've let yourself dream it keep the dream alive before you explain it to anybody else we trusted you here today with Esther's dream it's fully enough developed that you can't doubt it or think it's silly enough or whatever there's no risk of getting in the way of it but you can tell when that is and there's a tendency to want validation from other people who will say oh yes that's a good idea but that's not a good idea keep it between you and your inner being until the momentum of it is so enormous that nothing can keep you from acting right right it's just like now I know I just need to sleep eat drink water take care of my body because it's like it's just sitting there coming just through. let the downloads come yeah yeah. and spend no time trying to justify it there are a lot of masters of what we teach not meaning they got it from us meaning they have figured it out through their life experience that they've lived sometimes it's confirmed through what they hear here but it's life experience that really gives you this knowing and so they make their way to huge success and then there's a mass of people that want to hear from them how they did it and they always change the story to make it fit with the audience that's asking because the audience 
doesn't want you to say, oh, it came so easy to me. <laughs> I quit working. I just laid around. I followed my bliss. I did what felt good. And I did just downloaded to me and I followed the impulses. And now I'm fulfilled and I'm wealthy and the projects just keep coming. And you think they don't want to hear you say that because most of them don't want to hear you say that because they can't translate that into anything that's practical for them. So they call you lucky or like you inherited or they even make stuff up. You were born under a lucky star or you were born under a better sign, or you must've lived a good life in a past life. They just make all kinds of stuff up to try to explain why your bliss gave you success. The only success that we really acknowledge is the one of joy, but all the other successes follow it. But how did you get such success without struggle or sacrifice? People have a hard time hearing that. And if you are a presenter to the world and you're sensitive to their feeling that way, you will fall into the trap sometimes of telling them the story that they want to hear. Well, it's probably true. You probably did do a whole lot of struggling when you were step one in, but your struggle is what caused you to do a lot of your creating, but you didn't let any of it in until you stopped struggling. Right. I'm doing nothing now and it's all coming. <clears throat> well, you can say you're doing nothing. Well, I did all, <laughs> all the work to get and out of the way. Maybe you are doing nothing, but we want you to notice the difference between being a being and being a doing. I'm a human being, not a human doing. So doing nothing is just fine. Being consciously aware of what you're offering vibrationally, being aware of what you're emanating, being aware of the vibrational relationship between the vibration of your inner being, who is pure vibration with no resistance and where you are in relationship to that. It isn't that I'm doing nothing. Translate it this way. Speak it this way to yourself and anybody who you think is up to speed enough to hear it. What are you doing these days? I'm focusing. What do you mean? Well, I'm isolating really good feeling thoughts. Sometimes it's a memory. Sometimes it's just something that I'm projecting into the future. And sometimes it's just something that I'm observing, but I'm focusing on things that feel the best to me and I'm calibrating myself to that feeling. It's like I'm tuning the guitar, but the guitar is me and I'm tuning it to the harmonics of all the best things. Most people say, oh good, where are we going to have lunch? Because they can't go further into that conversation. <laughs> but if they want to go further in that conversation and they say, what do you mean? And you can tell that it's a sincere question and maybe they're in the receptive mode and they might hear. You could say, I can feel the futility of the struggle and the offness of sacrifice and self deprecation. And so I'm reaching for, I'm looking to focus on things that are beautiful, things that feel beautiful, things that are fun, things that feel good, things that are uplifting, things that feel big, things that feel powerful. And usually, in fact, especially at first, when I got onto this, I had to be real general about it. And I discovered that the more I stepped back from the details, the more I could find those feelings. And then I just got hooked on, I just got addicted to the power of feeling good. And then I came to understand that I was hooked on feeling good. And that caused me to calibrate to vibrations that were powerful for me. If I care about feeling good, then I calibrate to a resistance free vibration, which means it's a source thought. Doesn't that make sense? But when you try to calibrate by trying to think the thought that you think your inner being is thinking, you get lost in that. You get lost in the caves and waves and rivers and streams and streets of thought. But when you are selfish enough to want to feel good and you know the difference between bliss and anger, and you know the difference between appreciating someone and feeling something that doesn't make you feel love when that's the dominant intent. So we'll just wrap this up. We just want to say it's like this. You can hear this and you can take it in its applicable form. We've offered you lots of practical things to do and you can do those things which will accomplish things for you and will also make you feel good. So you could take away from this discussion. Yeah. I'll learn these techniques so that I can have my sports car and so that I can have my empire and so that I can have my lover. And so that I can create my media and oh, by the way, it feels pretty good to do it, which is not the approach that we're asking you to take. We don't want the project to be the motive. We want the feeling good to be your motive.
everything that everyone wants whether it's a pile of money or a material object or a relationship or a state of being everyone wants whatever they want because they think they will feel better in the having of it yes and so why not just go straight to the feeling better which is the reason that you want it and eliminate all the stuff that Jerry was writing about in that yellow paper you don't have to overcome resistance that you haven't put into place to begin with and so there's just a more direct route and a more powerful route we're gonna say it more clearly your goal is to feel good and feeling good will accomplish so much not my goal is to accomplish stuff and so I'll feel good in order to get it that's backwards we want you to feel good because feeling good is natural we want you to feel good because your inner being does feel good your inner being has walked in your moccasins through all your incarnations your inner being is aware of everything that you've ever lived and every combination of everything that you've ever lived and your inner being adores you in a way that there are not descriptive words to even describe it your inner being understands the value and the importance that you are to the all that isness your inner being has only love for you but even in the word love when we we presented in a room full of humans the word love is distorted just because of lost love and missing love and you don't bring me flowers anymore kind of love and so you have to isolate the feeling Esther finds it in the little dog on the floor Esther finds it in the little dog in her lap in other words there are pure moments of love you see it in some baby's faces you see it in some people you're feeling it now as we are here with you it's everywhere it's in your nature it's in everything but you have to calibrate yourself to it because your life has let you calibrate yourself away from it you've calibrated yourself to accomplishment well we want you to calibrate yourself to love which will accomplish so much but you got to get your priorities straight you hear us so you want to be nice to yourself and others will follow you want to be nice to yourself be really nice to yourself what does that mean in practical terms feel like a nap please take one feel like a drive go do it if you don't feel good take a nap care about how you feel if you feel like something nice to drink go drink it if you want to go hear a band go hear it be nice to yourself be nice to yourself and while you're being nice to yourself you can put a little human twist on it if you want to and say this is the most productive thing that I could do unto all of the universe <laughs> this is the best thing that I could do for the entire universe just this thing right now this nice thing that I'm doing for myself this is my gift to the universe and when the momentum ensues and it will there will be a time that you will not wonder about this at all that an idea of sacrifice will feel so funny to you and when you see somebody trying really hard you'll just love them and know that they'll get over it in time you'll just see people benefiting by being around you and you'll decide that you're gonna own the room vibrationally that when you walk in the vibration of you because you've practiced it so well it's just going to be there in such a way that one of two things will happen either people will join it or we have enjoyed this interaction immensely good time for a segment of the